we had the opportunity of visiting the Tiger Brands uh, beverage factory in uh, Roykop, that's close to Germiston, and we interviewed the director, the manager of the beverage factory, and a fascinating insight uh, he will share with us, Ismail Nanabai, that will chat to us. It was quite, uh, you know, interesting to visit the factory to see how the juice is made and how it's bottled and what sort of share of the market it has in South Africa. 28 billion cups of jure of beverage consumed every year in South Africa. That's uh, 4 billion litres of beverage. From that, uh, the Tiger Brands has 4% share. Today we are here at the Tiger Brands beverage manu- manufacturing site in Germiston to get some insight as what happens behind the scenes on some of your favorite brands like Oros, Roses, Halls and Energy. We're speaking to Tiger Brands Managing Director Ismail Nanabai. Uncle Ismail, what has been your journey on reaching this position? Uncle Ismail. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been a long, it's been a long journey. Um, I've been, um, so, so I currently, as you said, uh, head up the beverages uh, category within a bigger tiger business, uh, tiger uh, brands business. Um, I started work way back in 1995 uh, and I started off in finance, filing, basically filing, um, and working for a lubricant company called Castro. And over the years, just put my head down, focused, uh, and over, over the next couple of years, um, got into the marketing space and eventually got into a marketing director position across two or three companies, um, eventually coming to Tiger Brands in 2018. Um, worked in the marketing space for about four years uh, and then over the last year, it, 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 in fact a year ago, uh, in November, became the managing director, We're basically looking after the whole business now instead of one piece of the business. So what's the biggest challenge uh, heading such a big company like Tiger Brands? I think, well, again, uh, heading up a category within Tiger Brands, so like I said, beverages, because there's a few categories within Tiger Brands. Um, beverages, I mean, it is a huge organization. You have the commercial space as well as the operational space. Where you guys are today is the operational space. And as you did the walkthrough, you can see there's multiple manufacturing lines, multiple products happening. Um, a lot of safety requirements, a lot of quality standards that you have to And I think in, in the operational space, it, it's critical that uh, the people that uh, lead mm. the different functions are the right people and that you have to trust them to do their jobs uh, mm. because you can't do everything yourself. And I'm not the expert in some of these, these things. So having the right people delivering on the operational space is critical. And it goes to the same in the marketing and the sales space. Uh, relying and trusting the people that are employed to do the job is critical. Uh, you can't second guess mm. people and their expertise. So that brings me to the third question. Now, uh, you know, community-based, you are a community-based uh, radio station. How does Tiger Brand give back uh, to the community? So, I mean, Tiger Brands as a wider, wider company do a, a few things that give back to the community. But I think two things that I can talk about is around uh, the inclusive economic programs that we're involved in right now. And a good example is the agriculture aggregator program. And this is where we work with smallholder farmers to actually mm. uh, get product for uh, for the manufacturing process of some of our big food products that are out there, including yeah, beverages around the juice that goes into our products. So working with small farmers. Second one is the social economic programs. Um, you know, we do uh, we do a lot of food, food security is critical. We are a food company. And ensuring that that uh, you know not only ensuring food security is critical for this company, uh, sure. for consumers and people out there. So a good example of what we're doing there is we do food helper programs every month across schools, universities, uh, different different uh, channels. But as a company, we probably do about fifty thousand food helpers per month. That goes to families in need. Uh, this might now the final question we to ask you is. Uh, you know, when it comes to giving back uh, to our Muslim community, what advice can you give those young uh, young Muslims coming into the into the business space? I think it's I think it's it's, it's important, as I said earlier, is that you remain focused uh, focused in in what you want to do, what you want to achieve. You have to do it honestly, and you have to do it respectfully. Uh, you know, you're coming into environments that are different from where we come from. Mm. 
So it's really, really important that when you when you come into these environments, you understand it really quickly, and 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 then uh, really focus and, and and like I say, work honestly in what you want to do. Don't forget where you come from, uh, and always remember where you want to go. Uh, and most importantly, is keep your honesty and your respect through the whole process. Just like love. Oh, love your love.